Welcome back everyone, it's uh, KGB Grower again. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video on uh, installing devices. Uh, this is where the dedicated receptacle for the AC is going and this is just one of the other uh, general use receptacles for this room. Uh, I just want to talk to you a little bit about how to wire these up. I'm not sure how good this video is going to come out. I hope it comes out pretty good and I hope, hope it helps someone out there. But basically, you'll see over here, I've already installed one of the receptacles. And it's actually been shoved in the wall and it's ready to go back uh, back in the wall. Uh, <clears throat> you'll notice uh, also that I've put tape around them. I, I'm a commercial electrician and this is just what I do normally. This is what every guy that works for me does. I require that you put two revolutions, and in some places it's code rule anyways, but two revolutions of electrical tape around it after you install the device. Also, these are cheap residential uh, uh, receptacles. They are a, what's called a backstab, so you can strip a little bit of wire and shove them in the back. I don't ever recommend doing it that way just because, man, well, I, I don't want to say if I had a dollar for every time that I've been called into a person's residence to fix something like this because I do do service calls. Uh, it, it is worth the money to do. I mean, it's the money's there to do to do the service call. But had it been installed this way in the first place, I wouldn't be coming back most of the time. So um, if you're doing this on your own uh, and you want to make sure you don't have any problems, I would definitely do it the way I'm going to show you right now, which is you see how the wires are set up. You have your black wire hot wire, ground wire, neutral wire, or, un, or, or grounded wire. Grounding, grounded, neutral. Don't want to confuse you too much. Okay, white wire. Uh, goes on the silver screw. Black wire goes on the brass one. And then of course, ground goes on the green screw. Um, <clears throat> what I do is I usually, I normally strip a little bit off and then I take another little chunk and I move it to the, to the very end of both your hot and your neutral. Um, <clears throat> and then I bend it and I actually attach it to the screws. Instead of, I don't know how well you can see this, but you can see the holes back there, oops, right there for backstabbing uh, your receptacle. Like I said, I don't recommend doing it uh, as an electrician. Uh, you can do it if you want to, and uh, I'll come back and fix your stuff someday. It's not a big deal. I get paid pretty good money to do it. So, um, anyways, basically you just loop the loop that you've already, you know, if I didn't say so, I, I say I actually put a hook, hook in them, and then I hook the hook over the corresponding screw. Tighten it down, put tape around it. So, anyways, that's why that one looks like that. Those are out like that, and that's how I wire stuff. And if you uh, if you're wondering why I'm putting this on with the mud, and I haven't put any in my Panda Express or my Panda Express, must be hungry. Uh, any of the Panda uh, black and white film on yet? It's because uh, I want to get these on first, and then I'll put the whole sheet on. I'll cut around the receptacle, and then I'll put the face plates faceplate on it so that the faceplate is actually over on top of the panda too so it makes a more seamless installation you'll see it when i'm done so anyways that's it for uh device installation sorry my phone keeps trying to be jacked up on the uh, uh focus so anyways uh comments or questions go in the comments please like and share if you find this helpful um, thanks and uh I'll see you uh, next time. Peace.